Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the latest news from Bahrain Television. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met at Gurubia Palace today with a number of senior state officials. The Prime Minister affirmed hosting many cultural, social and touristic events in Bahrain indicates the kingdom's urban atmosphere. He stressed the necessity to focus efforts on development and enhancing Bahrain's status as a pioneer in various fields. He said the government is working to a specific strategy that aims to upgrade all government services to meet the demands of the people, especially health and therapeutic services. His Royal Highness emphasised the importance of consolidating therapeutic methods in the kingdom by attracting experts so as to provide the people with the best healthcare services. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met with the newly appointed Pakistani ambassador to Bahrain, Javed Malik. His Royal Highness commended Bahraini-Pakistani relations thanks to both countries' keenness to consolidate bilateral ties and cooperation. He highlighted the international weight of Pakistan as an Islamic power expressing satisfaction at the ongoing development in relations between the two countries. The Premier also asserted Bahrain's keenness to consolidate joint coordination on the Asian and international level so as to contribute in preserving international security and stability. For his part, the Pakistani ambassador described the Prime Minister as a leader that the Islamic world is proud of, commending his pioneering role in serving the issues of the Islamic nation. Mr. Malik conveyed to His Royal Highness the greetings of the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif, and his praise of the importance of the talks His Royal Highness held last year, which confirmed Pakistan's support to Bahrain's efforts in reinforcing security and stability. His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in the opening of the 8th International Youth Conference under the slogan, Success Before 30, organised by the Ministry of Youth and Sports in the attendance of ministers, senior state officials, MPs, ambassadors and participants from 32 countries. His Highness welcomed the attendees of the conference, which sheds light on success and opportunities for youth to achieve it. He said that success is a result of courage and good planning and noted youth's ability to contribute in developing the societies. His Highness also affirmed the importance of dedication in achieving success and noted the necessity of adopting comprehensive futuristic visions in order to achieve the set goals.
First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa opened the International Youth Conference under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa under the slogan, Success Before 30. The event was launched at the Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa's auditorium in the University of Bahrain, with the participation of 1,600 youths. His Highness stressed that the youth are the wealth of communities and the basis of the development of nations. He added that countries advanced and continue to urbanize by the virtue of the energies of youth and their innovativeness, pointing out that investment on youth is the right path for continuity of sustainability of comprehensive development in all peoples. He expressed his appreciation and pride in Bahrain's achievements and the quantum transformations led by His Majesty the King in the interest of the youth movement, adding that His Majesty called to caring for Bahraini youth and considered youth an important component of the single Bahraini community and one of the basic pillars for continuous buildings and a renaissance of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Khalid lauded the support of His Highness and his efforts in uplifting the capabilities and potentials of youth to achieve their goals in order to achieve sustainable development in various fields. Under the patronage of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the West Asian Athletics Federation and President of Bahrain's Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a ceremony was held to honour veteran journalists and media men, during which a press conference was held for sprinter Oli Kima, who won the first place and the gold medal in the Closed Halls World Championship, which was held recently in the United States city of Portland. His China Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and appreciation for local and Gulf media for its contribution to highlighting the activities and events and achievements of the Bahrain Athletics Association, praising its important role in highlighting Bahrain's sport in general and athletic sport in particular. Sprinter Ole Kima decorated His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa with the gold medal she won in appreciation for his unlimited support for athletic sport. Later, His Highness Sheikh Khalid honoured veteran media men. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, chaired by Speaker Ali Al Salah. The session approved Decree by Law 32 for 2015, transferring the responsibilities of the National Health Regulatory Authority to the Supreme Council for Health. The Council also discussed a number of proposals received from the Council of Representatives to amend some provisions of a number of decrees by law related to insurance against unemployment and pension fund, in addition to social insurance. Stem cell research, its potentials and controversies were the topic of discussion at a conference organized by the Arabian Gulf University in collaboration with the American University of Beirut and the Cleveland Clinic. The conference, which brought together global experts, stems from the university's interest in bringing the technology to Bahrain and the region. Mohammed Al-Shaban reports more on this story. Leading global experts in the field of medical bioethics and professionalism convened at the Arabian Gulf University for the 8th Regional Conference on Stem Cell Research and its Controversies. The conference comes as part of the university's keenness to be involved in the global medical trends and latest treatment modalities. Well, EDU is always interested in conferences and collaborating with other areas and it was a golden opportunity this time that we uh, collaborated with the, uh, AUB, the American University of Beirut and also with the experts who came from uh, uh, eminent universities. Stem cell research is developing at rapid pace in the West and it has started to mushroom in this area of the world. I know in AGU, for example, there is this interest in developing such a center 
And because it is burgeoning in the region, I think it's very important for scientists, researchers to be, to think of the legal, ethical, religious and other implications that stem cell research might have. The conference shed light on the importance of stem cell research and the field's potential in changing our understanding of disease while revolutionizing therapeutic and preventative techniques. There's a lot of excitement over stem cells because the scientific promise is great. We know that stem cells are teaching us a lot about the basic biology of diseases so that even if stem cells themselves aren't used for regenerative medicine, if they don't turn out to be the kind of treatments we come up with, that they're already helping us sort through how different drugs might work, how the body develops, and we're learning an awful lot that will be useful regardless of, of whether they meet their full promise. Well, I think it is becoming much more of an international phenomenon. Uh, you're, for example, the clinics are starting to emerge all over the world. That, uh, some of these clinics are providing unproven treatments. So discussing these issues in a forum like this, I think, is absolutely essential. Science aside, the conference provided a platform for the raising of legal and ethical questions surrounding this untapped market in medicine as the region begins to embrace the trend of stem cell research and its technology. These are important issues that are complicated um, and although stem cell research is still at a relatively early stage in this region, I think that will grow as the field will grow, but as it grows the ethical and legal questions with it become more and more pressing. Bringing stem cell research and its controversies here in the region is another testament of the Kingdom's keenness to bring the latest advancements in medicine and health research to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News.